Hey guys, can you hear me? Hey Griffler. Hey Gwendolyn. Brass Knuckles. No Atos today. Hey Engineer. Alright, I'm just cheating on my legit character to make sure my gear's all repaired. It is. Teleport to zone scrolls? Hold on, I gotta... Ooh, we have a Siamese cat variant that's on the... Bunch of the team is watching the uh, Women's World Cup. As you can see, I watched this twice when the flag came off. Show us your dungeon. I was gonna do casual gameplay. Would you guys rather see me run around in solo Grannis, or you want to see dungeon work? Uh, no raffle today, guys. I don't have the scripts for Chris's raffles. Hey, Vegas. Hi, Taiki. Oh, I'm your favorite? Awesome. Well, I'm in Soul Town. Where should we go? I'll play for a bit. I'll pop up an editor if that's what you guys want to see. Uh, Roy does not have a lot of friends compared to list. Alright, All right, for the sake of streaming, I'm gonna cheat a little. For the sake of the stream, just give us all stuff. Maybe I'll do like some trivia or something and do a giveaway for a... I do need a streamer pet. I was gonna get a little doggy but he was a lot bigger than I thought he was and I got a little apartment so I'm still searching for a little doggy I haven't had a dog in a while now that we work from home I like Oracle Oasis that's where I get my uh, devotionals because I like those two the focus regen and the combat regen or the health regen this duplicates a bunch of empty small bags and calls them stuff. Trivia. Alright, what do I got as far as food? Let's eat some food. I thought I had some... So I threw... I had a big bag of recycling the other day and I threw it in the trash on accident. And I said, aw, oh, bad words. And I tried to, I leapt onto the rim of the dumpster to reach in, and I'm pretty sure I cracked a couple of ribs. I hurt them. I've broken enough ribs. So if I'm breathing a little heavy. They don't do anything for ribs anymore. They used to tie them off, but you just get a pneumonia, so they just give you pain pills. Man, where's my food? Where's my venison chops? I do dragon, but I don't like the... Alright, negative 50. That's where I focus at. 690. Uh, I'm only level 77. Got a friend request. Prison bound. Yeah, you, can, you guys can friend Roy if you want. I don't even know what I'm using as a deck. Training. Let's look at this one. So, my training deck is like stuff I want to improve on. Yeah, I can roll with this, I guess. Death shield. I don't know what the two different shields. I got. 
I made myself a bunch of gear on my other character. Uh, wand and sword. Nah, eh, I'm gonna go with I'm gonna go with intelligence today. Right? Gonna have an excuse for a beer. I don't know about the holiday, but beer for sure. List makes some taming artifacts. Yeah, that's not my my purview. I can make you some waterfalls or some forests. Get some purify. Get homeboy up. Or string wrap. Roy is my uh, is my old Yo character from Atlantic. The highest ever I got was fourth most wanted on Atlantic, but then everybody else in my gear was one in my guild was one two three. That's kind of been my gamer name for- oh, it'd probably help if I wasn't a god mode, huh? There. Should've done that out first. How are you guys doing today? What's everybody doing? Chris's old comp on me. Uh, I'm still using my old one, but yeah, he's got a new one for me. I'm excited. I gotta have Max and uh, and Photoshop and the editor open. I don't know where he's going. Where are you going, buddy? Where are you going? Alright. Just turn circles and we'll tag you. Works for me. I know I'd probably get faster XP doing upper tiers, but I like running around solo. I don't know if you guys are aware of the... if anybody's ever done the uh, MMO player type. Uh, it's kind of like the personality type, but I am a KE... S A, a killer, explorer, socializer, uh, achiever. I don't really care about achievement. I like to kill and explore. So a Keza. Those are kind of fun. If you guys haven't seen those, uh, look up. I don't know MMO personality type. All right, let's not be you guys. I'm used to having a uh, blink on six. Blink is not on six. Sir, I need you to die so I can focus on the others. Sir, I need a uh, I need soothing rain in this deck. I'll kill these guys and we'll think some dex adjustments are due. Uh, so I have thrust and double slash. Uh, I've seen some new players and they asked, um, do you get the skill up if you do the combos? And the answer, I believe, is no. So uh, that combo with thrust and double slash for quadruple slash or whatever, uh, it's great, it does damage, but you're not, uh, you're not getting the skill up for either two, and I'm just trying to raise this dude. Get some soothing rain in this deck. W. There. 
I think I'm water spec. Let's look. I think I'm water and blade spec on this dude. Oh, I don't think I have any spec. Hmm. I need blue blooded to 80. Alright. Well, that'll be my goal. Alright, let me read some chat here. Some chat. Nice haircut. Oh yeah, I had oh, I had to go to my uh, my little sister's wedding up in Colorado, which was great. It was freezing, no cell, no internet. A chick room for a dungeons. Oh, the chicken room. You guys wanna any updates on my dungeon? Yes, I'm gonna try and get in uh, this release. And flowers, yes. I'm gonna get on uh, another request when you guys. Uh, the plot marker kind of paves all your grass and foliage, so for people who don't want the sheer cut, keeping up with the Joneses, uh, HOA lawn on their lot, uh, I think some little tufts of some tufts of grass, and maybe some wildflowers as, as placeable deco is a good idea. I got a gray supply panel. What do I get? A bunch of garbage. And a bunch of garbage. This is also bugging me that I don't have blink on. Six. Not that one. Oh, that's where I have Rand. All right, let's put Rand there. Lock it. Leggings, nice. I like this. All right. Um, hold on, I'm getting some messages from work. Oh, not really guarding me. Thanks, Lancel. All right, I'm gonna check up on chat here. Can you talk about your dungeon? Some are really curious, and no one seems to know much about it except it's gonna have wings. <laughs> Uh, you guys seem more interested in that, so let me, let me kill the client here, and I'll fire up the editor, and I'll open it up. So my thought was, hey Jar, uncleared lots in our, well, so, the, the lot markers, that's just kind of hard-coded from days of old, days of yore. The lot markers, when you claim a lot, clearing all the vegetation. I don't think there's any undoing that, but uh, like I was saying, we can give you guys some placeable uh, tufts of grass and things like that. Cave hall is ever going to be able to have at least lighting. Also can put up common paintings in the hallway. Um, I could try and fudge a little bit of the deco surface. Their surface is so weirdly uneven that it's hard to assign any, uh, it's hard to assign deco planes to cave hallways, but I know you guys would like to put some in. Uh, I could probably fudge a little bit. It's a little stormy in Colorado. Yeah, it rained the whole time. It was freezing rain, so we were just schlepping stuff to this tent. It was still beautiful, and... I'd love to still be there and I want to go back soon, but it was very freezing. It rained for a couple, uh, it snowed for a couple hours. 
but then uh, it led up right in, in time for a, uh, the ceremony. It's a beautiful ceremony. Really like her uh, new husband. All his friends are cool. So mostly you're setting up a wedding in the rain, having a wedding in the rain, and taking down a wedding in the rain. Common paintings can't be placed in marble hallways. That sounds like a bug. Green or a blue, Lancel? Or just all of them? I'm pretty sure I did a pass on the... The, uh, oh. In order for me to do the editor, I need a couple more steps. If you guys bear with me. Blue marble hallways can't play stuff. Uh, I'll check that out. I'm about to fire up the editor, so let's look at it. I'm 90% sure that I put deco surfaces on those halls, but we can, we can double check. Actually, while well, the editor is lo loading, which takes a while, let me fire the game back up, and I'll go check on live. Some of you guys have been crawling around Tartarus. Uh, I know Chris has very high hit point, low, slow moving zombies. I kind of want to have a horde, you know, Daisy style, fast moving, low hit point zombies. All right, can you guys see my editor? Let me go to OBS and window capture. Not see my login credentials. I don't know, I'm not as exciting as uh, Atos with his giveaways and stuff, but I'm gonna get uh, his computer with all the scripts for raffles and stuff soon, so. We'll be doing those again. Uh, in the meantime, I will load up the dungeon I'm working on. It might be uh, old news for some of y'all. You saw me just kind of fly around on share my stream. It's a problem with all recipes using bolt of cotton cloth. The new recipe now requires a bolt, but the new bolts aren't vintage, so you can't make the object. Uh, I would bug that. That would end up going on uh, Beezus, I believe, or somebody. So yeah, just go ahead and bug that. It'll get on the right. Uh, put it in crafting. Hey, Cleo. It has a number. Oh cool, we got some new telescopes I need to add to the store. Okay, so I'm back online. What can you guys see? OBS, share my game. Bring it over here. Turn God mode on because I'm sure I have a bunch of junk. Well, I'm not that, not that overweight. Somebody loves the fishing leaderboard. Uh, thank uh, Robert Thompson. Um, I forget everybody's dev name. I think that's Undone. There's Undone Ken. People are like, how can you not know? It's not like we call each other Atos and Lord Subtleton. I need to randomly shrink people. We could do that. We could ghost and go around and, and troll some people. Will there be an will there be an artifact tome that buffs chaos pet damage? Don't know, Lichmeister. I like the idea. Ken is burning toad. That sounds correct. Thank you, Elwin. Uh, I'm pretty sure undone is Doctor Bob. We call him Doctor Bob because he's a doctor in astrophysics. Oh, what am I doing? I'm checking 
Deca services and uh, marble halls. Yeah, I, 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 I'm I pretty sure I've done this, Bobby. Hey, Dragon, how you doing? Hi, Stymie. Hi, Mike Soda. If you guys have different in-game names that I know you by, let me know, because I don't. Oh, I, I'm pretty sure I put in a... I put this here to test. Um, I put in one of those, uh, what do you call them? Not Doppler. Um, reverb. A reverb probe. Nope. That doesn't sound like it's working. Because I know there's one in here that does work. Wait, I need the piano. Alright, I need to add the reboot probe back to the, uh, to the, what do you call it, the, uh, the foyer. Okay, let's go test. Oh, my squirrel's not pathfinding. The next question is, do I have any paintings? Uh, I might in a chest. I swear I did this. Wait, that one works. So obviously get, I can't put them there because that gets replaced. Maybe it's an issue with the... Uh, I have commons. That's not common. Blue hallway with portrait of gentleman. That sounds like it might be an issue with the actual painting and not the uh, not the hallway. When will we get lot sized above ground swimming pools? It's gonna be a hot summer. That's a good deco idea. Uh, I'm pretty sure I made a jar for that a little bit. Lady in waiting. Can we get a pattern that turns a practice dummy into an archery butt? Yeah, I know what you're talking about with the paintings. Um, I have some up. I think I got, let me try that real quick. Pretty sure in one of these are some paintings. No paintings. And this one. I might have to go to the surface. It's a bunch of dyes. Oh, there's nothing in those. Um, all right, real quick, I'll go to the service, grab a painting, try it. Talus has uh, some questions. I don't know, I'm streaming. So reminder, uh, whisper me in-game, send me in-game mail. Send me a forum mail, I'm a little behind on, but uh, Private message on Twitch is the worst way to get a hold of me, so don't even try. Mine is so decorated. Yeah, I kind of made a underground <coughs> bunker palace instead of a dungeon dungeon. You want a craftable version of the Shogun furniture that has dark wood. Oh, like a stain? That'd be cool. Alright, do I have a lady in waiting painting somewhere? I'm just hunting through all my shelves. Alright, let's just add it. Uh, it'll be this is our new quest to find a lady in waiting painting. zoom around. Hello Cypher. Uh, no raffle today. I don't have the script set up for the uh, the raffle, but we're thinking about um, 
Darkstar mentioned painting housing a while ago. So the deal with that is uh, that just has to be done house by house, and then each, you know, we have to flag every material to be paintable or not. So that's a momentous task for Damon and maybe myself. The keep land homecoming out non ship one. Uh, not yet, Jay. Uh, not on it yet, but it will be probably this week. I'll grab it for him. We had our team meeting today up at the data center. I had to leave early because I had to get some stuff to my baby mama before she left on a flight. So I went all the way across town and then had a couple of minutes of meetings and then went out. Um, I thought he might have brought that, but I'll get the new computer soon. All right, I know, I think it's this one. Portrait of a Lady, is that it, uh, Lancel? I fly a lot faster than I do. Well, when we do SLU, we can put in a number. And then also, um, if you mouse wheel up when you're in that mode, you'll go faster. If you mouse wheel down, you'll go slower. All right, let's try this in our dungeon. Oh, that one works. Wait, which one does not work? Because I don't want to just try one you know that already works. Yeah, try mouse wheel up, mouse wheel down, will adjust your slew speed. Do we have the Arterist Throne available by chance? As a deco? Um, I don't know. Oh, try that one? Okay, I'm going to try this one. Uh, so yes, dying houses sounds awesome. We're going to do it. But uh, each of the houses has, you know, multiple, multiple materials. You know, 5 to 30 plus, And then it's just a matter of flagging which materials you're going to be allowed to die and then doing it house by house by house by house kind of manually there's not a programmatic way of doing it that's one of the ones that are not going on house oh I got myself is talking to myself I'm going to assume that's Chris <laughs> alright let's try you painting of a lady Nope, nope, nope. Oh, this uh, this seems like an issue with the actual asset, because obviously that works. Uh, I think this is a collision issue. I can't put this anywhere. All right, I don't know if something changed with that. Let me write that up before I forget. All right, what is that painting? Painting is not placeable. Put in my bug list. Brokens. Common paintings not placeable. Numbers. Okay, I'll look into that later. Can't place the obsidian stones and pots anymore, the small ones. Uh you should be able to. I fixed that. Uh, have you tried this release cipher? Let me know. The chain shards? Is the plan for painting houses both interiors and exteriors? Looking forward to interiors, but I'm a little leery about paint player paint. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, you're you're gonna get two materials. So house by house, we'll just pick you know probably the most. What would you call it? The most impactful. The most impactful two materials, and like I said, some houses have thirty materials. So. Uh, we'll we'll pick the two best, and then I'll just be our subjective opinion on how to do it. Alright, so confirmed, them paintings don't work. Mahalo. Uh, okay, so I have the internet fired up. I'll give you a peek of the dungeon. Uh, like I said, I was away at my, or some of you know, I haven't said yet, I was away at my little sister's wedding for a little bit, so work on this was put on hold. And I'm picking it up now. After I do some other stuff, some store stuff and some stuck bug stuff. Um, OBS. What are we watching here? Let's do a new window. Window capture. Make source visible. Okay. Unity. That seems good. We might have to go into default view. Alright, so what are you guys seeing? 
You guys are seeing that. So let's go to default view. So who watched the, uh, who just watched USA England? Uh, walls on rugs is a jeer that I made. I know this stopped working and I love putting the walls on the rugs. If we buy CODIS today, do you get anything for free? Uh, not today. I don't know how to, I don't really know how to do that. Um, Chris is in here. Can you keep track of that? And to buy some CODOS? Can we track that and give it to him? Question bot up. Uh, you can just ask a question and I'll try to catch the chat as best I can. Ooh, we have, we have an infinite, an infinite wall of, what do you call it? I have one monitor that's too dark and one that's too light. Everybody always tries to calibrate monitors, but I think it's good for people to develop in all kinds of calibrations. And I know the settings to put it ideally, but I know you guys, is uh, me as a player too, my TV's super dark, so good to test in a lot of different... And I've never seen, they bring these little like face hugger monitor spiders, and I've never seen a pass where like, let's do all the studios monitors when well, they didn't do it and then the next day everybody was just all off with the test banners anyway so I think that technology needs work so the thought behind this dungeon was uh, is on the very north shore teasing on episode 2 which will be in the north <coughs> I don't think that's a spoiler I think I think we've said that uh, the continent for episode 2 will be in the north thanks John Marcus um, is I'm not sure that he's still in here. I'll look into the uh, shards on pots. I flagged them and I checked them out. So, With Mac version being real dark because of how the game's gamma is so harsh. Mac in the past, uh, Mac just, they have a different uh, GPU pipeline, I don't know. Uh, so how dark is this? Because it's on my monitor, but it'll be normalized on y'all's monitor. So that a bunch of Vikings, you know, set out for Valhalla or wherever. Uh, if you, I just found this movie on Netflix called I Am Dragon. <laughs> and it was this Russian family uh, fantasy movie. And it was cute. It turned into a, like a cute little fantasy movie. But they all ship out, come in this cave, and it's uh, it's not what they thought it was. It's full of very bad monsters. I want some NPCs with some barks that this is not the afterlife. I don't know what this is. So I said I was going to do wings, so there's going to be a frozen wing which will branch off of this room. And that seems, let's put some, uh, while I'm in here, let's put some, uh, let's do a little blue lighting and some mood VFX. Default, so I can see what I'm doing. You all can see Unity's fantastic lighting, a la 1998. Actually, no, Unreal 2 would have like penumbra and fall off, so it is what it is. Let's just make it kind of an ambient light. Kind of a cool blue. Sometimes Unity does have some great tools for a lot of stuff, and they're making leaps and bounds as far as uh, when I first started their particle, what is it, Shuriken? Their particle editor was kind of abysmal and outdated, but they've really stepped it up and done a lot of stuff me and Damon uh, really wanted. So kudos for them for doing that. I hope they get to the lighting scheme next, which is not, not my favorite. Let me see this on the other monitor. So that's fine. And then um, let's call this. Oh, this brings up uh, something that came up at the meeting today is Chris had the idea to let you guys play some particles like fog and <coughs> you know mostly fog and mood lighting and smoke and stuff for your dungeons. 
I'm worried that you guys will hang yourselves. We give you enough rope to hang yourselves and that you can make a black hole of overdraw. And I, I, I want to play some guides on what will just kill performance and a bunch of successive... I guess can't see me anymore. I'm, I'm gesticulating. A bunch of... Yeah, goose from... Yeah. A bunch of successive alpha cards trying to draw transparency through, like, once you're at, like, eight or nine, you need to, uh, you need to chill out. And I know you guys, if we let you guys buy these, you'll put down a hundred in a row, make a black hole, and then bug it. Uh, let's call this VFX local, because it's local. Uh, we'll just call it fog. I see. box with like you no know, height except y and z are flipped no speed start size fine color preset I usually use, I don't know if you can see, I usually use smoke. I usually use smoke for a, for fog, so there's some good, you know, it's a skull. Um, there's a good smoke in here that makes for good, like ambient. That's the one I want. And a project this big, you just end up with a million smoke textures. Is that the one I like? No. So this will be the ground hugging one that's a horizontal plane. That one's not bad. I kind of like that one. 90% of a good particle effect is a good texture material. And then the parameters do the rest of the work. That one's lit, which I kind of like, but it's more expensive if it's lit. It's cheaper to kind of fake the. Uh, fake the color and not have them receive light. Uh, let's go with... I saw one I liked a second ago, sorry. That was not bad. That's an animated card. not bad. I just want to be consistent, which I make this and like pick one I really like. Man. Alright, let's go with you. Uh, horizontal. It has some soft particles, so we'll have to counter that with the, uh, what do you call it? The alpha. It's a good size, seven, eight, and then max particle size so they don't shrink when we get close to them. I made that too big. Four, five. And I just don't want people running here and seeing that. I don't want to see them the. Uh, and we'll make them um, rotate a little bit over their life. Like 9, maybe 9. And we'll make them. Um, sorry, I'm going down a rabbit hole putting smoke in this room, but. Oh, I need the other editor. Just a little mood. 
Oh well, yeah, this has this texture. This material has some good soft particles. Started to sound like Bob Ross. That is world building. When and when I'm actually doing world building, it's uh oh and then the oh thanks Catherine Rose. You'll do uh you know, here's a little game trail, here's where world building's all about telling a story. A geological story or an erosion story or animals made a little path. Hi Dimeron, how's it going? Anyway, we can change the Lost Veil buff to its own separate buff. It currently shares the Shrine buff, which makes it worthless to get and a waste of time. Uh, I mean, that was one of the choices we made for, to make it a Shrine buff. I know there's better options out there. We can look into that. How does this have deco limits for different things? How about the same with dungeon particles? Yeah, that's kind of what I was hoping, is that we could cap these so people can't make a black hole of... See, that's what I start to worry about. If people start putting them outside, is they're just going to make these endless black holes of particles and performance is going to be awful and then they'll bug. Like the amount of lights you guys are allowed in a single house is more than I would spend on a large dungeon. Like if you were to open up, <coughs> let's say the Fall or Lost Veil, vale, you guys' houses use more than all the lights they use in there, so... I think if we let them go in houses and exteriors, then uh, which I think we should, then we need we need some limits because uh, I've seen some people make some stuff and like, hey, my frame rate's bad. It's like, okay, well you have fifty shadow casting lights in a hundred meter space. There's not an engine on the planet that's going to render that. Oh, thanks, Omega. Wow, a thousand things. Can we remove the fake trees that border the scene? Uh, if we get rid of those, you're going to see outside the world. So probably not, but we can improve some of the borders or make some new versions for pots, I think, for episode two. The outdoor lights on a keep lot needs to be more than 20. No. You get five. 20 is too much. You're asking the wrong person if you guys want more lights. I think you should have less lights and they should be shadow casting. You float there and there's land past the trees. Oh, so yeah, we gave you guys the slew tool and now you're you're peeking behind the Oz curtain. Oh, uh, what have we done to ourselves? All right, uh, there should only be, let's see. So if you want to know how many max particles you have, lifetime is five seconds. Let's make that like nine to 13, but I'm spitting out 10 per second, so that's 130 particles, so that's no bueno. So 0.5 is going to be like 4 to 7 max particles. Alright, we're going to dupe this, make it a child of itself, and we're going to call it Bert. This is just so people go in and try to debug particles. It's not called like fog A, fog B, fog C. It's so you can actually tell what the hell is going on. Label your stuff. So this is going to be a vertical billboard. Same shape, same size. We'll let it move up like a little bit. Oh, let's see. Of this lifetime. I want these to be a little bigger. Let's see, 9, 13. And then you can just fudge it and say, I only want everyone two of these visible at any time. But I don't want people walking through the cards because that's kind of jarring. So that's too big. So let's go back to 4 to 5. Maybe we'll let you have like 13. I'm sorry I went down this rabbit hole, but I want to get it right before I move on to something else. I'll stick with the same material so we don't get a bunch of material loads. Still very big. And next particles. Okay with that, for now. Maybe a little less alpha. There we go. Now we can 
dupe this. Put it in some of the hallways. Is that light? I like that light. Is a little far. One more in here. Not so bright, just kind of mood lighting. A little farther. And then you come out in this room. So I really wanted, I know we have like spider egg sacs hanging from the ceiling. If we could get some more enemy delivery animations would be awesome. Any chance we get assets for spog and fog and spider webs from our... You do have spider webs. Uh, they might be discontinued. We could look to bringing those back in the vault. And fog is what I was just talking about. We are going to add some fog options for you guys to be able to place your own, uh, your own fog. Uh, Twitchception. Don't look in that sp oh, am I doing that again? Sorry. Whenever I take focus on this. Well, wait a minute. Are you guys seeing when I'm looking at this? What do you see? Okay, cool. That's what I want you to see. We have them, they're just not the nice spider webs you guys are able to use. Uh, the ones you get snatched up in. Yeah, I'll look into some, uh, some more spider web options. Let me write that down. <laughs> Echo webs. I'll look into that. Oop. Use the pop out chat to avoid inception. I don't know what pop out chat is. I'm a stream I'm a I'm a streamer noob. Okay. So this is the second room. And so I'm fighting our lighting scheme right now because we have some limitations as far as where light can cast shadows and it's like hard capped at like 20 or 30 meters which is I understand for performance for pots and player decos but if you're trying to make it like a moody dungeon that's pretty much unworkable so Justin is very responsive I do not know his dev name about kind of letting us override that, so I'm excited about that. Um, here, let me just hit play. I'll run through it. Open a web window to Twitch. Don't TV pop out channel. What? To Twitch.tv pop out. Oh, so I just got the text. And I, well, I kind of want to see what I'm doing in case I had the wrong, but that's good to know. Thank you. There's not tech for us to attach things to more than one surface at a time. That is true as far as decorations go, but we can be a little fudgy with collision so you guys can rotate and flip stuff. Could the lesser demon's trident hit multiple targets in front of him like the lich's axe does? Sure. Uh, let me write that down because it's not in my area. So what do you want? You want the demon, demon, AOE, melee. I hit play so you guys, I know you guys are looking at a billion versions of the chat. Hey Arca. Some of the crafting tables are lights. That's true, like the forge, we want to be a light, because you know there's a light in the forge. Dungeon rooms with built-in wall torches, we could turn them off and they would stay off. I, I think they're, I don't know what they've decided as far as the uh, persistent state, because I know we that's something we just introduced for houses, <laughs> was to kind of save the state of all your lights. We're talking about for dungeons. I don't know the uh, progress of that discussion or what's been decided, if anything. 
I know I've been said it before, but I got some new rocks, and I'm really excited about some new rocks. And my game audio probably blew your ears out, didn't it? Sorry. So these are all going to be on fire. Boats. I don't think I added a script to my uh, fogs that I just added, so I doubt they're going to show up, the ones I just made. Oh yeah, that one's in. All right, cool. So this is where the other frozen wing will start off this room. Uh, all right, that needs adjustment. It's hitting its max particles before, so I need to lower the respawn rate. Looks a little like Hoth. I'll add some like drippies. So this is my deal right now, is this, I want, I don't want to look like that. Um, I've been some issues with bats too, I keep resi resizing them and make them move faster. Those guys look okay. Those are some ambient bats. You can't target them or hit them or anything. So big fight up here. Continue on up the stairs. Like I said, I haven't done a lot of work on this since I went on vacation. So this is what I want it to look like. And then, yeah, 20, 30 meters away, you can't do a lighting pass like that with Shadow. So we're working on that, and it'll look like what I want it to in the game. And then uh, this tower previously didn't have an interior. So I went ahead and I modeled an interior. And I want to put a buff all uh, like the fall with some... Uh, I don't want to give it away, but, um, ow, some, uh, an attenuation buff that'll help you with this spike specifically. And then I'll put some, uh, there's gonna be all kinds of halls, and I have plans for the rooms and waterfalls I'm working on, but that's not ready for you to see. Is there any way we can get a small foyer in the style of dungeon stone, like the generic ancient? All the dungeon styles are good with a bright ancient foyer for mood. All dungeon styles are good with the bright ancient foyer. I'm not sure what you're saying, Demeron. You just want a small dungeon stone style foyer? Is this gonna be tier twelve plus? Yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be awful and kill you all. It's the the point of making this is I know you all you know, work on the new UE, need to be done, it's great for the game. I know you all understand that, been super supportive, but we know you guys are bored and need some stuff that can uh, at least kill a few of you, if not a full group of eight. So yeah, this dungeon's gonna be brutal. Think Tartarus, harder than that, same as that. Anyone know how I can see the stats of the fish I'm catching? I'll just mouse over it. So when you see it, Oh, yeah, yeah, so, so you just want a little dungeon room foyer in the same style? Yeah, we can do that. Um, so just mouse over the fish you catch, and I'll say where you caught it, the length, the weight. Yeah, I know you guys want some new content. I know. I know, I'm aware. All right, so that's a little preview of that. I'm going to go back to the game. Except now... What do you guys see? see? All right, cool. You see my game. Um, I think somebody wanted me to troll around and shrink people. And that sounds fun. Let's do that for a bit. I'm gonna stream for a little bit, and then I'm gonna get back to work because I need a bunch of store stuff that nobody wants to see me stream. All right, let's just go randomly. I don't know who all is streaming. I see Devil Cult, but I know he's in chat, so that's not going to be. Store stuff. Yeah, I need to add a bunch of stuff to the crown shop today. So We could see who's in Tartarus. Go mess with them. Let's go look at... Yeah, why not? Do you store stuff? <coughs> no, nobody wants to see that. 
It's a lot of filling in fields and taking screenshots and setting prices. And I will do that, but not on stream. All right, who's in the zone? Got a couple people in zone. What's he doing? Martin, Martin's hard at work fighting some zombies. All right, should we do a vote? Should we buff Martin? Should we shrink Martin? Should we summon more monsters on Martin? Nerf Martin? I'm not gonna nerf Martin. Shrink, shrink. I'll give you guys a second. Shrink and summon. I don't know if he's in the chat or not, if he knows this is coming. Alright, we'll do 200 seconds. That's not too bad. Oh, he's got a buddy too. But I'm gonna give him... I'm gonna give him a... Uh, 500 strength for the inconvenience of me messing with them for equal time. Oh, now I can't select the other dude because he's so small. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? I'll do a light and then they'll wonder where the summoning light is from. Oh, and there's a little. Hold still. Hold still. Let's give him some strength too. Alright. I'll, couple, I'll kill a couple guys for him in case they freaked out when I did that. I know the hit points seemed low, but I just gave him like 500. I just gave him like 500 strength, so. Alright, there we go. Enjoy being leprechauns. Alright, next person. Hmm. I know how I do. Uh, I'll bet a hundred dollars Laz is sitting on the lot. Make Laz's pants super big. I can I can't specify a region, but I can make his whole body super big. Should we just make Laz a giant as he's sitting on the lot? Ugh, so we can see up Laz's giant kilt? I'd rather not. Let's do it. How big? More than a potion. 20. For... 400 seconds. There we go. Oh no. Alright, mature stream. Mature stream. Alright, if you're in Alice Head... There's now a uh, Colossus. Oh, yeah, censored. Look, he's holding here, but look away. He's thankfully he's tastefully holding something over his his kilt slot. Is he gonna notice by the time he comes back? All right. Who next? We'll do one or two more, and then I'm gonna get back to uh, to playing the game. Let's do. Oh, Talos was asking me something, and I just stopped reading. Chat, that was super rude of me. I kind of get. Oh, he wants to know when I'm not streaming. I will get to you when I'm not streaming. You can mess with Titiana. Grinchy, Deep Ravenwood. Let's see what I haven't seen. I haven't seen a lean in uh, in in uh, stream chat, so we'll go to her. Oh, that's you, CC. Okay, cool, Mike. I didn't know that Mike was CC. Make somebody bald. I wonder if there's a command for that. I know we can sex change him. sure what's going on here. I think she's just 
idle. Selecting people, totally not an issue. Shift click, come on. Oh my god, yeah, totally just clicked on it. Let's make her small. Let's make her small for a long time. This is a cool die shop. Got all the samples out. I wonder if she fished up those caps. No, look, look she crafted them because they're like plus two. I'm gonna check the shop out while we're here. That's cool. I like this wall. Kind of makes like a negative space pattern. Just snooping around your house. Die shop. Shrink merchant steel shop. I do like the shop. Where are we? Oh, we're in Mortal City. That's a cool pot. Alright, so I'm gonna log off uh, this character. And I'll switch back to the one I was gonna level up. And I'm using a restroom, so I'm gonna take a quick break from that. I don't want you all to see my credentials. So a quick break. Let me kill my mic audio. How do I do that? I don't know how to do that. Oh, I don't want to stop streaming. One second. Mic audio. There we go. Muted. How's my audio? Is my audio back I'm good? Cool, thank you. Should I prank you by giving you guys money? Yeah, that gets you real good, huh? Practice sex changes while you're in there. I only worry about that 
when I do it like late at night is that I forget and I would not undo it. Alright, still got my buffs. I see tiny little cannonballs farther away than I see them comparatively much larger cannon. Uh, I don't, I mean, that stuff gets set on the, uh, the LOD range, the LOD script on the parent. If you see one that's just horrendously too close or too far, then go ahead and bug it and we can, uh, we can take a look. Uh, except I want, okay, my shield's fine. Okay, let me do some, uh, let's start a group. And I'm on, uh, 1003. I didn't want to patch ahead of you guys. Are you guys on 1003 or are you on 1004 already? Not being God mode. Can you hear the game audio? Too loud, too soft? Someday I want dodge roll to mitigate damage so you can be all fancy do moves and actually do, right now it doesn't do anything you just animate and nothing happens but that's on the top of my wish list I don't know if Atos is still watching no audio my master is pretty high mic audio desktop audio oh game probably help if I shared the game huh better Uh, the top of my wish list is for dodge roll to, to do something. Mitigate damage. I don't want to be a dice roll. I want to be percentage every time while you're dodge rolling. I really liked uh, Guild Wars 2. It had awesome dodge rolling. And yeah, people were like flipping around and stuff, but it looked cool and it was fun. I'm not everybody. I know everybody doesn't have the Twitch skills to be timing dodges and stuff, but honestly we can't make combat fun if we're always catering to people who can only click one button every 30 seconds, so, I mean, really hard to make a fun combat system without some Twitch combat skills, so, someday. And you don't have to use that, you can still play the game. But for those high-end players, I think it add an, another level of, especially in PvP, of skills to get some dodge roll mitigating some damage. Why do I have death rain here? I don't care. I'll use it, but I do loot these guys on this guy because that's the only that's the only gold he has. You have audio and see the game, plus you hear talking. Favorite pet or summon? Uh, here I'll do it. The first three people who know the name of my favorite pet, I will give a hundred kodos to. What is the name of Liz's favorite pet? First three people with the correct name. Does anybody know? Puff? Nobody knows. Wolf, Atos. I don't think you guys knew. Mojito, Mo yeah, you guys don't know. Alright, nobody's gonna get it. Alright, first three people with the rename name of my most summoned pet. 
I know people know, but this might not be the crowd that would know. Can't TP to me. I might be on a different... I'll just summon him. Looks like CC's in here. No, no, not the, not the name when I renamed it. Hi, Nubby. Nubby's in here. Why are you tiny? I don't know. You're just blessed with the <laughs> grace. Blessed with the grace of the, uh, the little folk. The wee folk. The fey folk. I wonder if I hide, if they'll aggro on Nubby. I have no idea what adventure level Nubby is, if he'd be okay or not. All right, CC's here. I don't know what, I know CC is a merchant. I've never actually gone on adventure and seen them fighting. Looks like some fire, ooh, is that a fireball? Look, a big fireball, what they do there? Nice, yep, fireball. Here's Nubby. Let's invite him. Alright, nobody knew the answer to that one. Uh, new question. And if anybody answers that, they'll still... So for 100 Kodos, the first three people in Granis Kirtolasis... <coughs> there's an old uh, riddle. It's about a, a hot air balloon pilot. And the kid ends up in the hospital. And anyways, it's kind of a sexist, a sexist puzzle, which is like, why, how could the uh, pilot be the mother, which is the correct answer. So in Boreas Colossus, there's a bunch of books, and you gotta read them a bunch. Well, the mom's the pilot, yeah, but you know the one I'm talking about. Oh yeah, the doctor's mom, yeah, the doctor's mom, that's right. So that one. So in Boreas Colossus, I mirrored that, and it actually got a bunch of bug reports that it was incorrect. But it's not, and I we recheck the writing over and over and over. So uh, there's a question, and you fall down the pit after talking to the, uh, what is it, uh, lying black foot, truthful white foot faces. And at the bottom of the pit, it asks a question on the wall, and it is, who killed Conver? And what is the correct answer? And I know you guys all did it. So, who killed Conver? What was their name? First three people, I'll give you 100 Kodos. And you can all go look up the cheat guides. Because I think a couple people did that legitimately, and then everybody else. Well, I know Jack did it legitimately. Uh, because he said there's not clues for all the puzzles, but there absolutely are. Yep, yep, it's Anne. Close enough, Devacult. 100 Kodos for Devacult. Once I'm done fighting, I'll give them to you. You did legit. Good for you. And we debated, because I wanted to make like music puzzles, and then we're like, well, now we're, it's a main story path. We can't gate a main story path with, you know, people can read music or not. We barely got away with the chess. That was a hard sell that people need to know how to play chess or not to get past Boris Glasses, but they did let us do that one. But learning, knowing music. You did a year ago and you remember? Nice. All right, I gotta think of some more trivia. healer out here. Let's get some poison. Okay, I wish Douse would remove more fire buffs. That would be great. Or debuffs. What's going on? That was the last guy. Oh. No. 
that was the last guy. There we go. We're free. Because I read the books after failing the second puzzle. Yeah, the guy at the beginning used to have a bark, and I don't know if he does. So, like, some things you can only learn by failing. And that was kind of a hint that you had to you have to fail to get all the... You go to the evil slime room. If you guys haven't done the uh, main story quest, it's a bit of a spoiler, but you end up in Boreas Colossus at the end of it. Uh, the Path of Truth. Or the Lens Quest, anyways. Do we want to do POIs? We do POIs. Let me try and think of one. Obviously, I'm going to be more familiar with zones that I made or worked on. Oh, I got one. Okay, for 100 kodos. Here, let me write down. Double code gets 100. For 100 kudos, first one to answer. Uh, for 100 kudos, uh, what is the name of the proprietor of the restaurant slash fishing sh shack in Fishing Expedition? What's his name? First person to get kind of close, 100 kudos. It's a it's a Easter egg reference. Bob, it's not Bob. Quint. Do you guys want a hint? Uh, so he runs a restaurant by the sea. And it's based on a movie with Goldie Hawn. And if I say the main character. It'll be too much of a giveaway. Yeah. Kurt Russell. Krabby. Captain Ron. Oh, wait, who got it first? All right, T-Branch, Shinzani, and Majoria. 100 for all of you. I actually should go verify that that's what Keith ended up naming him. All right, let me write that down. All right, you guys, cover me while I'm doing this. So who got Ron? T Branch. Um, da, da, da. Zany, what's your um in game name? Tanky. And Oh, Oop the Veil. Oop the Veil got away before all y'all. Thank you for pointing that out. Is that alley oop? Oop of the veil, you alley oop? Tayhole Bedict. Oh, Zany reads some Malazan. Do you see my, uh. Do you see my, uh. Water Elemental name? Oh, that's your in game name? That's awesome. Alright, Zany is a, is a Steven Erickson fan, so we're friends now. Yeah, right? It's male. I don't want to say who male is to not spoil the books for him, but... That's your best friend, right? Alright, so Oop. Oop is Alley Oop? Yeah, Oop is Alley Oop. And then... I'll give him some number majority too, because you're going to Oop, Alley Oop. T-Branch, can you... Type out spelling your in-game name. <laughs> yeah, I saw a guy whose name was uh, uh, and Anamander Quoth or something. Oh, it's Titiana. Okay, I'm sorry, Titiana. Or they say Titania, and I say. You got an archer named Squint? Excellent. Not, uh, not Talk the Younger. Hey, 
Hedge, nice. Busy at, how far are you? I don't want to spoil anything. How far are you in the Malazan books? I've done them all, and then I did all the, uh, did you do all the Esselmont ones, and then now I'm doing the, uh, and I did all the, uh, what do you call them, uh, Corbulan, Bouchelan, and Corbel Brooch, and then I did all the Path to Ascendancy, so there's only two out. Yeah, and then, uh, right now I'm on the second book of the Carcanus trilogy. So if you guys don't know, the greatest, most epic fantasy series ever written is called the Malisand Book of the Fallen, but it's going to take you like six years. So if you want to start, it just blows everything away, but it's an investment. So we'll talk to you in six, seven years when you've, when you've caught up. Yeah, each book is 1200 and they're just amazing. Like, like I don't even recommend them anymore. You know when the, uh, what is it, uh, Never Ending Story, when he sneaks into the, the bookstore and the bookseller's just like, you're, you're not ready, this book's not for you. That's what I tell people now, I stop, I stop recommending him. He's from the town you're in. Cool, isn't he, uh, I want to say he's Canadian, but he went to like the Iowa School of Writers or something, I don't know. You have signed copies? That's awesome. I'm jealous. Did you meet him? Like he signed him in person? Or you just got your hands on some signed copies? The author is Steven, yeah, Steven Erickson, and then his friend is uh, Ian Esselmont, who writes companion books that kind of run parallel, and his are also excellent, so yeah. Yeah, don't step on Tiny Aline. She may have become Tiny. So I will give you your kodos, and I will also friend you, so we can we can talk more Malazan in the future. All right, we've got pet. This is pretty easy with three people. What level are these? These guys are probably way higher level than I am, though. I'm gonna peek. I'm gonna GM peek. No, I won't do that on stream. I don't. I don't. I don't want to give away people's stats and adventure level if they don't want to. Uh, so, Zany, have you heard of the, uh, they're going to do a, um, he's going to do a Carsa trilogy. I think he's working on the Carsa books, which I'm super excited about. So it's this, I don't mean to geek out on this book series, but it's rare that you meet someone else who's gone and read them all. Uh, if you like Game of Thrones and you like that they kill your favorite character, this guy will kill your favorite character and his whole race and his gods and go back in time and just get rid of everybody. Hey Taiki, welcome back. Yeah, the first the first one is a lot of names and a lot of introductions and not many people get past the first, but if you get past the first, the second book is uh what is it is it Chain of Dogs is the name of the second one I think? That is just one of the best fantasy books ever written. That'll get you hooked. If you can make it past the first book and read the second one, you're hooked. Yeah, 300 plus characters. I don't know how many are left at the end. Not many. We might have to go somewhere harder, because I was just planning on soloing this, but we're kind of raking through it. Ooh, maybe we can get one of the uh, the big new summons. Let's see. Oh, did Scrota? Did Scrota whisper in me? Oh, that was just the last whisper from that. Let's see if anybody needs one of these big wolves before we, uh, we just kill them too fast. Belgariad Melorian. I don't know if I know that one, Taiki. You recommend it? Because I'm about to be wrapped up with... Uh, I was waiting on Sanderson, and uh, I actually still, it's been out for like a year, have not read the new Way of Kings book, so that's what I need to do next. And then everybody's waiting on, uh, what's his name? 
Rothfuss. Everybody's waiting on that one. Nope. Nobody needs to tame the big wolf. We can just kill him. David Eddings. Cool, I'll look out for that. The ferocious arctic spawner. Uh, for the wolf, I'm pretty sure... I put the polar bear in the arctic encounter. Is there a ferocious... Hey, Skaggy. Is there a ferocious arctic wolf? I'm not sure that even exists. Uh, but I can check. We have a sheet that we were checking them all off. Alright, well, we seem to be just mowing through this stuff. I don't know how. I think I'm probably just chewing up my XP as I get it. No, I got 500k. Do a little meat. So this is my this is my character. I'm just it's a weird deck just because I want to practice skills that I'm going to use in PvP. So it might not be the most effective PvE, but I'm helping some. But yeah, that's cool, Zany. Did we just become best friends? Oh, Majoria. I can write down Majoria. That's awesome. Your name is Teho Better. That's funny. Yeah, you like being that tiny? It's fun, right? Co-written by him and his wife. That's cool. I haven't heard of a lot of, uh, like, spouse... Cooperative uh, authorship. I think you have to have a special relationship to uh, collaborate creatively with your spouse long term if that's what you do. But that is awesome if people can do that. I do know of my favorite, uh, if you guys ever do audiobooks, there is a couple, uh, man, Michael Kramer and what's his, uh, I can't remember his wife's name right now, but she's great. Kate Redding, I believe they're married. Uh, they do a lot of audiobooks, and they split up the parts for, like, if it's more female, she'll do the, the books. I think they're a couple. Maybe they're just, like, a professional team. I don't want to be, like, saying they're married and they're not. That's my shield. I got no shield. Or right, we're just mowing this stuff down. Looks like they're looting. All right. Wheel of Time. Dude, I tried Wheel of Time. I forget where I quit. Like, it was cool, and I love the characters. I love Matt Cawthon. And I got a ways through it. I think I'm on, whatever the, the winter one is. <laughs> I'm on, like, book, like, eight or nine or something, and I just can't pick it up anymore. Like, I pick it up, and, like, I don't remember who's an Aes Sedai and who's a what. I do want to get to this. I know Sanderson finishes it for him. If you like Wheel of Time, if you like Game of Thrones, try out the Malazan. Kramer and Kate Redding. Yeah, are they are they married breast knuckles? Do you know? Or are they just like a professional duo? Yeah, I also don't like that, uh, what's his name? Uh, the main character. He's just like, uh, he's sleeping with like five women and they're just cool with it because he's the dragon or whatever. It just, eh, it just seemed kind of chauvinistic and definitely male perspective ridden. I don't know, it turned me off. There's some great moments. They're not a couple. Okay, I'm sorry. They're not a couple. They're just like a professional duo that team up a lot. Well, they're great. They're a great uh, professional duo. Yeah, Deathgate cycle is cool. I don't know that who who wrote the Deathgate cycle, Zany. And of course I love Ursula again. 
I still haven't finished the Hainer cycle, but I did all the Earth Seas. And then all the extra books. Weiss and Hickman. Oh, cool. I'll have to check that out. I read Hickman when, er, when I was, uh, like in elementary school, and I really like those. They're cool. This banner is cool. Cool figure is Deco. Which banner? You want that as Deco? Do you guys want this as Deco? Broccoli? Yeah, I'm, I'm, did you read? So he put out that little, like, breadcrumb book. What was it? Uh, the really short one. It was about uh, what's her name in the catacombs, which was great. Uh, let's see. Uh, Grannis Flag as Deco. What was the um? What was the one that Rafis did that wasn't a full book? I'll have to, I forget the name of it. But it's just about the the um the girl who lives in the the ruins and the catacombs. That was beautiful. I love that. Oh, and Robin Hobb. If you guys don't read Robin Hobb, do all of those. Just do all of them. Maybe not the Shaman series, that's like our latest. That got weird. But uh, definitely like all the Assassin books and the, the live ship books, those are awesome. I know uh, Seawolf was a huge uh, Wheel of Time fan. He's got a lot of Wheel of Time Easter eggs and maps that he that he's made. I don't know if you guys have all found them. I don't know if we're in all these in chat or not, but there's a lot of Wheel of Time Easter eggs in a Seawolf map. Anybody have uh, Malazan Easter eggs? Those are, it's just like, I could put the Easter egg in, but who's gonna get it? You know, like four people? I'm gonna start, I'm gonna have to start adding some now that I know there's a couple of you out there. I know I saw like two other people that had Malazan names. There's a dude named By Tor. I know I'm friends with him. Yeah, there's a bunch of, yeah, fantasy, but yeah, Seawolf was big in, a big fantasy reader. Here, I got the, uh, let's see. I know, is he still playing? And Amander. Oh, this is Roy, this isn't List, so I got a different friends list. This is my secret legit character for a while, and then uh, I was trolling the animator Gix one lunch on Laz and Jack, and then he put in a support ticket, and they flagged me as purple. I do cheat some with them. The only cheating I do is like skipping to levels or reagents. But other than that, I don't use any like stat buffs or anything. I'll just zoom around to like help people when they know I'm on like loading levels. Blink is sixty. What else have we got? How am I doing on pooled XP? I'm burning okay. What I really want to get is Ice Arrow up. That's my only GM. I have one lone GM. Is Ice Arrow my next closest? Yeah, 98. All right, let's I'm gonna get my second GM on stream. Looks like we cleared it mostly. Just gotta jump to the open gate. That was cool. Why did the... Why did it ray trace the particle to nowhere but it still hit him? I 
I know uh, Esteban put in some, we talked about 13th Warrior all the time. There's a bunch of 13th Warrior Easter eggs. <coughs> I'll leave you guys to find. It's one of our favorite movies to talk about. Defy of them. Man, we were just mowing this down. All right, I will leave. Who won the, uh, or Ali Oop, you were the first to answer the last trivia question. I will let you ask the next trivia question. And the, uh, the first person to respond with the correct answer from Ali Oop's question, if they want, they don't have to participate, they we'll get 100 codex. The best line. I listened. Uh, I, I think my favorite line from that movie is the dog can jump. But yeah, in the same scene. Is Ali Oop still here? Pi. Velez. Oh, what scene is the secluded Glen in? Has anybody answered that? Well, thank you, Taiki. I'd love to hang out with you and uh, Vesper someday if I ever head up north. I don't know if you guys are like west. I don't know where uh, Alpha is. I think he's east, right? Like he's up in New York. You guys are like Alberta. But yeah, that'd be fun. Oh yeah, the sword is <laughs> for your daughter. That's a good one. I need more shields on this deck. It's hard to draw. All right, we're waiting for an answer. What scene is the secluded Glen in? A hundred kodos for the first person you can answer. This is a trivia question from Ali Oop since he got the last one correct first. Yeah, I'm yeah, he's way east of you guys, yeah. Is it Lost Fail? Is it Lost Fail, Ellie? Keith actually named No Fewer Skulls Secluded Glen I think I might know It's kind of the deal is though the discoveries usually get named by the spawner guy and we do some spawning but I think I know what it is but I might actually not know I have a guess Let's go kill these guys These guys do a good job keeping me alive so I'm just gonna leave Roy Roy in here Maybe I can get uh, my second GM on stream. That'd be cool. All right, give him uh, give him one more hint, Elio. See if they can do it. No, it's not Lost Fail. He said fewer skulls than Lost Fail. Named for a mage. That's your second clue. So the name of the zone that contains the secluded glen and the zone is named for a mage. This is a good one. Nobody, nobody's coming up with the answer. Uh, I don't know what I set the loot to. I don't really care. I'll take the bear heads though, I save them for somebody. I'm gonna keep streaming for a bit. I'm gonna call it at like two hours. And then uh, there's, there's tests I need to get on as far as work work. I need to get some dinner and then 
working on it tonight. All right, nobody's getting alley -oop. One more clue. I think I know what it is, but I don't want to answer. I should put coup de gras on here. It's just not a. I don't use it for PvP. It's just so situational, but I know a lot of people do. I know I've been hit by some pretty large coup de gras in PvP before. Hey, Kondas is here. You wanna join our party? Pub rules is closest if you just put in the scene name. What did Probos just say? There's a zone name for- Oh, He's driving so he can't look. Yeah, don't make pub rules crash. Alright, we got Mariah Overlook, Mariah Overlook, Mariah Overlook. Uh, let, let's cut it there. I'll give it to pub rules since he's driving. Confirming, is that correct? Uh, Aliu? Okay. So who got that? Uh... Uh, Omega, what's your in-game character name? And J. Am I going for the lens? No, I was just grinding and killing some dudes. A pretty good challenge uh, solo, but then I opened it up to groups, so and now we're just kind of mowing everything down. Omega Flux. Pretty sure I'm friends with you. You have a question. What's your question, Eileen? And then, Jay, what's your character name? Drizzt is placing fishing dungeons, and we're wondering if those count. And our city is on a fishing day. That's a good question I don't know the answer to. If you, if your pot comes up in the bonus, do dungeons within the pot count? Because it says you're in that zone. John fishing bonus. I'm gonna ask because I don't know the answer. So that's that's probably a, a Bobby question. J Nord. And then Pub, you're just. Oh, this is the wrong character. Pub, you're just pub rules, right? Who the crap is Roy? Roy is my, uh... Oh, you're Morgana. I'm sorry. Hi, Morgana. I didn't know you were Morgana. How's it going? Uh, Roy's my legitimate don't cheat on character. We, I made to do, uh, Sea League and, uh, Virtue League. That's kind of why I made him. He doesn't get a lot of play, but I want to get back to that, so. He's, ooh, I got 78. I'm A-level 78. So you cheat on list then? Yeah, all the time. I didn't earn those skills on list at all. I mean, I set them not at cheat levels, and I craft all my gear, but I didn't earn that experience by any means. But this guy I did. Yeah, I, I zone, I don't, I do no wait, I do no reagents on list, I summon stuff. And if you guys were devs on a game, wouldn't you also? It's fun. He doesn't cheat as much. Uh, I mean, if I'm doing PvP, I don't cheat. But the stats, where my stats are set, I didn't earn them, I just set them there. But I did set them like four months ago, and you all now are like 20 adventure levels higher than me, so I'm probably 
way too low to fight a lot of people. How's my dungeon? Oh, Mangar. Well, I showed it at the beginning of the stream. Uh, not progress since if you saw it on the other stream that I'm willing that I'm ready to show. But uh, I'm gonna fit. I'm gonna cap the stream here in 15 minutes. That'll be two hours, and then I'm gonna do some store tasks and some screenshots. And hopefully, if I get those all wrapped up tonight or tomorrow, I'm gonna I'm gonna sneak in some dungeon time working on my dungeon because I really want to get back to that. That's what. I enjoy doing the, mu the most and have the most fun doing is creating zones. So we'll get back to that. I'm also going to need, I don't know if Atos is still in here, I'm going to need some uh, unique creatures too. So I'm just going to have to cook me up some monsters and I have specific, specific monsters that I want. I don't know if these guys are with me or not, I'm just pulling stuff. Yeah, it looks like they're pretty responsive. I don't even need dust, but I want to level it. Where is he? Are you at Weezer? There's the Weezer. Alright, so who got it for... Well, Morgana's driving. So... I'm gonna let, who's gonna ask the next, uh, all right, Vespers, I'm gonna have you ask the channel a trivia question about soda, preferably fiction, uh, and the first three to answer correctly in chat get 100 kodos. So if you can think of a good trivia question, Vespers, type it out in chat and the first three correct answers get 100 kodos. Any shroud fiction? You just you just know poning and min maxing. Okay, uh, I'll try and think of another one then. I say that as a compliment, not a not a not a a, a ding or whatever. Shroud trivia. Alright, I'm gonna call this, uh, thanks for group everybody, that was fun, I got an adventure level up, I didn't get my second GM here, I'm getting close though, I'm almost 99 in my arrow. I'm mute, okay, who's the lead? That's a good one. Writer of the Shroud Fiction, aka Dragonlance. Cool. Yeah, there's three right there. Though we were talking about him like extensively earlier. Alright, so oop. That's 200 for you. Vino Corlan, what is your in game name? Is it the same? And then Zany. That's 200 for Tehole. Vino Corlan, is that your in game name? Is that the same? Alright, so I'm going to take all this stuff that I've looted. We'll give it to newbies. I don't care about any of the resties. Did I get any? Yeah, I got some Norgard axes. And no, not really anything worth. Anything worth giving away. So we'll exit to menu. Thanks everybody who's in my party. Same. Okay, cool. 
I'll mail it to you for my other character. Alright, we got nine minutes. Oh, I know a good one that some of you may know. Okay, uh, who... Uh, let me kill this so you don't see my login credentials. It'd probably be smart, huh? Alright, uh, Richard Garriott's first major RPG character that he played is named Shamino. It was named after an object that he owned. What was the object that he owned that he named Shamino after? And the Shimino Hills, all that is named after Richard's what? Oh, that was three. That was fast. All right, Elwin. It was bike. So we got Elwin, Mute, and Oop. Oop with three hundred. Dang Oop. I'm gonna have to exempt you in the future. Uh, Alley Oop is three hundred. I can't Google that fast. Uh, Elwin. Elwin with a hundred. And mute, mute. What is your in-game name? You were third. Oh, Rinaldi was first. Let me go. Up. Thank you for catching that. If I don't get people first. Oh yeah, Rinaldi was first. Okay, Rinaldi with a hundred. I don't. I don't think they still make Shimano bicycles. I don't. I remember, I had a giant. You can hear me scribble. A component, not a bike. I thought uh, they made Shimano bikes. That was the whole bike. Maybe now they just make like handlebars and brakes and stuff. Cause my friend had one. Is a way to illuminate dark dungeons while slewing. Oh yeah, you guys, you guys don't have an unlit mode. Maybe we could alter. Well, I don't want to alter the camera settings because some people want to take screenshots. We can look into that. That's a good idea. All right, slew, optional, lighting. I got a lot of. Scrabbly notes here. I don't want to hold that up because it has some personal information. Uh, yeah, I can imagine a dungeon that gets pretty smart, uh, pretty, pretty dark. Let's see if I have any newbie bows to give away. Can I get the low distance up for slew too? Low distance is low distance. Um, that's just based on distance from camera. So, no, not easily. Maybe some override that the LOD distance is doubled. Some kind of math override. All right, who's in the zone? Oh, we got a bunch of newbies. Let's see if any of these guys want some bows or anything. Do I have any? How many newbie? Do I have any new gear on me? Sorry, I took a, a I took a pain pill for my cracked rib earlier. I'm kind of starting to fade. Bow. An elven woodwind longbow plus one. What's this guy using? Kiran. Looks like he's using blades. A bandit blade plus one. Can we do better than that for him? This kind of goes two ways when I see people in the dummies. I try to give them stuff and then determine that they're botting. Or they're responsive. Uh, I don't do a lot of blades. What can we give this guy? 
Maybe he's here. How are you guys doing with the fixing of the two summon issues? Ability to buff them, specializations affecting their power. Don't know. Uh, I heard about that in the meeting, but I didn't get an ETA. That we talked about that. Um, well, before the meeting. Um, can we buff here? Let me just. I'll just ping chat. Um, I pinged the, uh, it's about dinner time for everybody, but I pinged it. Please fix. Well, you know, I think I've said it enough times, you know, Fizzle, that that's not anything I can fix, but I just asked, uh, the people who can't fix it. I know you've been asking about that a lot, and I need to keep on that. Be able to give the dungeon much creepy feel without the lights on. And specialization. Specializations. Chris is still doing the math on. Uh, I'll I'll whisper you, Fizzle, if somebody answers my question from the uh, the programmers. All right, Kiran. I don't think he's here. How about this guy? Strath here looks pretty set up. Remap. Sometimes it's hard to, it's like herding cats, talking to newbies. They kind of get, they kind of get tunnel vision on what they're doing. But I like if I'm not super busy and I got a little time, I'll just idle in the outskirts maps. Oh, he spoke to me? Did I miss it? See? Oh, he spoke to me. Will it kick me if I go AFK to sleep and leave my guy attacking this? Uh, eventually, probably. That's what my, my that's what his favorite song is. Oh, he's right here. Hey, Kiran. Welcome to the stream. Hey, Kiran, what is your favorite song? Or a favorite song. It doesn't have to be your very favorite. What is a song <laughs> that you really like? It can be pop music, can be classical. Flink. Frank Sinatra, Fly Me to the Moon. I might have that already. Let's look. Sinatra. Don't have it. All right, let's find it real quick. That's a good one. In other words. Oh, God, I almost started singing on stream. All right, Sinatra, Fly Me to the Moon. Mini. Found it. Because you can give people swords and stuff when they're first starting, but it's much more fun and not really affect their combat. Oh, sure. Their combat proficiency to make them, you know, it's not unfair. It's just kind of a fun gift to give people. All right. Fly me to the moon. Squash all the tracks. Save it out. Already exists. Oh, I guess I did already do it. Cutlass of the Swashbuckler. Oh, nice. Are you trying to give that to me, Vespers? Give it to the newbie. That's a nice gift. 
Also, what's up, Vespers? Alright, let's do... One, two, three. Why are you trying to give this your awesome... I don't know. Is this to give to newbies? Oh, he's in combat. Cool, I'll mail it to him. Thanks, Vesper. That's cool. Cool donation. I don't know if you saw that. Uh, uh, Key ran. Vespers just made a really nice one-handed sword to give to you. If you're still here and you hit Z, I can hand it to you. I'm gonna have to hand you some here too in a second. Let's see. Fly me to the moon. It's gonna need a loot too. Let's add one more of those. Ah, sorry. Ooh, I have a plus eight. Alright, so what you're gonna do, Kiran, you're gonna equip the loot, and you're gonna find Fly Me to the Moon in your inventory and double click it. So, first find the loot and equip the loot. The sword's from Vespers, it's not from me, but that's nice. Yeah, it's a really good one-handed sword. Even if you don't use the sneak attack, it's still a nice, it's a nice blade. I made, I was working on one for like a sneak attack, let's see. Did, was I, did I make this? Uh, oh, because it's a, oh, I turned down my instruments. There we go. It's a really good base. But it doesn't say crafted by it because it's an artifact still. Still trying to find stairway for your loot. I've heard so many versions of stairway out there. I'll uh, I'll mail you one. Balthorn, what's your in-game name? I'll, I'll mail you a version of stairway. Yeah, that was a really nice gift. I'll look for Balthorn. He wants stairway. No stairway. Denied! No Barracuda? Uh, that's not Joan Jet. I always think it's Joan Jet, and it's not Joan Jet. It's Heart. Let's see. Heart Barracuda. The Edith Piaf song. Oh, yeah, I have a bunch of Edith Piaf songs. I can write new ones. Do you want a barracuda? Balthorn Naeus. Naeus. Who wanted who wanted Barracuda? We could make a little stream on this. Is it possible to add a filter in the blank sheet music so we can search our tracks? Oh my god. I bring that up all the time. I don't think they anticipated people would have like fifteen hundred uh ABC files. It is possible and I've been pushing for it. I would love it. How easy is so to make obscure songs is if you can find a MIDI version of it. If you can find a MIDI, MIDI version of it, then you can convert it in seconds. It's just finding it. Who wanted Barracuda? I kinda lost track of Yaz. Yaz72, what's your in-game name? Yaz Carlisle or Carl Cherie? Yes. Yes. Cherie. It's a Barracuda. Wait. Curry? Oh, that's how you say it. Curry. And then somebody wanted Edith Piaf. Vahadar. What's your in-game name, Vahadar? And I'll give you all the Edith Pia songs I have. 
I think I have some Eves Montan too. I'll have to look. Is your in-game name the same? Is it Vahadar? Here, I'll show you the ones I have. Very nice, Kieran. Very nice. Alright, I'm about to turn this off. I'm a little over time. Uh, oh, okay. Feral... I'll show you what I got. Uh, yeah, like t to sort by like alphabetize or autofill, anything would be great other than. So I have, those are the ones I have. And you can't expand this also. So these are the ones, I, and I shorten the name. So I have uh, La Faul, oh, that's, that's broken. La Faul, I can't, my French is awful. Uh, La Mer. Uh, Nanjini, Sous Le Points. Some of these are broken up into different parts. I forget the full name of, of Champs. Okay, cool. I'll have to get on mailing you guys this uh, in game because I'm going to wrap this up now. Uh, do I have Over the Rainbow by Israel? Uh, yes, I do. When I made the fishing expedition. Uh, I think I put that under Hawaiian. When I made the fishing expedition, I needed some Hawaiian music. And I think I found his version. Hawaiian Aloha. Oh, no, I didn't get it. No, I need that one, though. I know what you're talking about. No, I don't have it. I can look for it, though. All right, I'll look for it. Uh, Israel over the rainbow. Yeah, that's a yeah, it's a ukulele version. That's great. That's a great song. Oh, is there a combo one? I only know of him just playing the ukulele and singing. Cool. Thanks, Amelia. You may have all the music. Uh, I mean, I'm about to break two thousand. No. Maybe I could like zip them up and give them to you guys? I don't know the... I think I'm about to break 2000 ABCs, but if you guys send me an in-game mail with a specific request, if I have it, I'll give it to you. Uh, if I don't have it, I can look for it. So, my favorite selections. Yeah, send me in-game mail and uh, I'll try and I'll try and uh, get back to you with song requests. Uh, if they're, if they're, but I do have exceptions. If they're, uh, there's some metal bands that you know Scrota does, so I don't like to step on his toes because that's how he makes his in-game gold. And then uh, I know there's a bunch of like boogie that Ezekiel Cooper does, and there's some classical that. Um, Oh, what's his name? Kalen does. So if it's something that I know in-game bards like sell a lot of, and that's how they make their gold, I kind of try to not stomp on their toes and take their their livelihood away in-game. But uh, if it doesn't fall under that, then sure, I'd be happy to try and get it for you. Angus Piper. Yeah, well, yeah, there's so many. I didn't mean to not. Uh, Arca has a bunch that he does too. Some Smiths and some Cure. I don't have a lot of Smiths. Well, thank you guys for joining me. Uh, I was kind of just a fill in for Chris today. I'm sorry I don't have the raffle, <coughs> the raffle scripts, but I do have a good list from the trivia to send some codas out to, and uh, I'll try to get back with uh, streaming again. So maybe some PvP or some more uh, world building when I get into that. But uh, thanks for showing up and hanging out with me. I appreciate it. Thanks for the codos, uh, or uh, thanks for the bits. Everybody who chipped in bits. I hope I didn't miss anybody. I'm gonna scroll up. Uh, Rinaldi, thank you. Oh, Rinaldi had a question. Oh, healing burst my rib. Yeah, right now it's a lot of ibuprofen. But uh, thanks everybody. Thanks for tuning in. 
Uh, thanks for playing. We'll see you in the game. Have a great Tuesday, and uh, looking forward to this next release. Uh, tune in Friday, and uh, I think I'm pretty sure Chris will be streaming again about two o'clock. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm getting a new box, so that'll that'll help me uh, that'll help me stream later in the night too, and I'll get some. Uh, yes, send me a friend request before I log off. I will accept that. Gotcha. Okay, great. Now I know your name. Okay, cool. Didn't mean to res you. No, I I got a pretty I got a pretty thick skin. I'm an old PvP here. I don't even know if he said something. Cool. Thanks, guys. Have a great Tuesday. See you soon. Thanks for stopping by. Oh, raid someone. Good call. Uh, let me look. I should probably raid someone who's doing Shroud of the Avatar, huh? Let's see. Famines, Wacko, Mangar. Mangar, are you in the fall? Where are you? Where are you in your own dungeon? Longer, Chris, would be shy, 50, code an hour. Let's do someone I haven't really. Unpopular streamer, Sheldon Cooper. That's just, that's just like a pity play. Let's do, uh, I'm picking Fizzle. Because he is in the fall. Some PvP action. Alright, how do I go back? Let's see. Um. Twitch for the avatar. How do I spell your dang name? Raid House of Mangar Theater. Uh, hold on. Fizzle, how do I spell your channel name? Yeah, I know Sheldon's your brother. CC, I watch his stream. Somebody tell me how to spell uh, Fizzle's House of Mangar name. I think it's House. There he is. It's an educational channel. House of Mangar Theater. Alright guys, that's some PvP action. <coughs> you can stream snipe them if you want, I dare you to try. I've tried, I've tried to take on the uh, full group of Mangar. I think he can tell you how that went. All right, 64, ready? Here we go. Thanks, guys. Have fun. Follow Mangar if you haven't already. Oh, because I'm on the Shroud account. Doing all these streams, List is actually taking uh, 